What's going on, Dolphins fans? Welcome into another edition of Dolphins Today. I am your host, Jake Rima. Thanks so much for joining me today on a Wednesday, and we have a ton to get going with, so we're not going to waste any more time. Congratulations are in order for the rookie, Devon Achen out of Texas A&M. Got a chance to really shine and show what he can do on the field in that 70-20 to 20 thrashing of the Denver Broncos. And for his 203 yards rushing and four total touchdowns, Achan was named the AFC Offensive Player of the Week, which is a just shout-out to him. He was toting the rock. He was involved in the passing game. He was electric. He was clocked at 22 miles per hour at one point in that game against the Broncos. The guy can fly. And if you missed yesterday's video, he had a little correction on the name pronunciation. I'm going to get out in front of that from the very beginning. We knew him as Devon A-Chain. Everyone that watched him at Texas A&M used him as Devon A-Chain. But he spoke with the Dolphins and made it public he'd like to be called Devon A-Chan. So, that's why I do not adjust the volume. I said it. I did not stutter. That is upon his wishes to be Devon Achan. Either way, he's the AFC Offensive Player of the Week for his dominating performance against the Broncos. So kudos to him. An impressive, per impressive performance in week number three of the National Football League against the Denver Broncos. Four total touchdowns, but... Based on what went on in that game against the Broncos, we have a lot of injury news to get to. Some pretty positive, and then some maybe a little bit more concerning, but certainly were warranting a discussion. We'll start with the positive Jalen Waddell injury update. Remember, on Sunday Night Football, he left the game against the Patriots with the concussion and was in concussion protocol all week, missed that game on Sunday against the Broncos. But the latest is very positive from Mike McDaniel himself. He will return to practice today. He's already been seen practicing for the Dolphins. Yes, a limited participant, but he is trending in the direction of being available and ready to go for the game against the Buffalo Bills on Sunday in week number four. However, nothing official yet other than the fact that he is progressing well and will practice today. Joe Shad, one of the beat reporters for the Miami Dolphins, confirming it on Twitter. Jalen Waddle will practice full today for the Miami Dolphins, and that is great news because what's better than an offense that scores 70 points and puts up 726 yards in one game? An offense with Jalen Waddle for the next week because they did all of that without him. Imagine how lethal they can be with the full arsenal and the full cast of weapons for Tua to work with. So it's real simple. Based on what the Dolphins have done in the first three games, especially through the air, and even on Sunday without Jalen Waddle, I just got to thinking, you look around the National Football League, there are a lot of good receivers out there. There's a lot of good receiving cores. But it is my belief that the Dolphins have the best wide receiver core in the National Football League. So I ask you, type Y for yes and for no. Do the Dolphins have the best wide receiver core in the National Football League? It's our pinned comment today, so if YouTube hits you with that ad break, don't worry, don't panic, just go down to the comments and let me know why for yes and for no. Because Tyreek Hill is a cheat code, I mean, there, there's no other way to put it. The, the guy can do things no other wide receiver can do. And when you combine Jalen Waddle and everybody else in that passing game for the Miami Dolphins, and I know River Craycraft went out with an injury, but even, I mean, even Robbie Chosen was contributing. You got Durham Smythe, the tight end. I think the Dolphins have the best wide receiver core in the National Football League. Some people say, oh, you know, look at the Bengals. The Bengals haven't really done much. You know, here's the look at who are the top passing offenses. Obviously, Justin Jefferson for the Vikings, but collectively, there's not the body of talent that the Dolphins have, and I think the numbers reflect it as well. Chargers, also a really good wide receiver core. However, they just locked Mike Williams for the year, so it'll be just Keenan Allen. I mean, I say just Keenan Allen, but Herbert's got some other weapons to work with, but 
when you look at the numbers, when you look at the cast of weapons that the Miami Dolphins have, especially at the wide receiver position, I just think there's no comparison. The Dolphins have the best wide receiver unit in the National Football League. Today's Dolphins today is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the best and easiest way to play daily fantasy sports. I love Prize Picks because it's super easy to use. I use it all the time. And the app is also really easy to use. And it's a great way to play daily fantasy sports. How easy is it to use? So glad you asked. You just select two or more players. Pick more or less on their projected stats, and then you place your entry. It's that easy. So forget those complicated spreadsheets that never really worked anyways. Quit trying to beat the Sharks with prize picks. It's just you versus the projection. So I've already got my picks ready for Sunday. And, I mean, come on, Tyreek Hill, best wide receiver in the National Football League. You know I'm going more than his projected receiving yards total at 94.5. And with Tua Tagovailoa, your front runner for MVP, I'm going with more on his projected passing totals at 276 and a half. It's that easy. Make your picks at prizepickscom CLNS. And for being the Dolphins today subscriber, we've got a special deal. Go to prizepickscom CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Don't worry, that link will be in the comments if you missed it of and the description of today's video. So go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Best way to play daily fantasy sports. Now the not as positive news. So Jalen Phillips kind of been a little bit of a roller coaster. We know how important he is to the Dolphins' defensive game plan and he missed the Week 2 game against the Patriots on Sunday Night Football, was back in uniform, back in action on Sunday against the Broncos. However, at halftime, he left and did not return with an oblique injury, and the Dolphins organization are calling his status day-to-day. -day. So it doesn't provide a lot. His status is still up in the air for Sunday's game against the Buffalo Bills. But one thing... Dolphins fans can take a lot of reassurance in is how well Andrew Van Ginkle played in his absence. Andrew Van Ginkle recovered that fumble that set up a Dolphins touchdown against the Broncos on Sunday, and he was graded out really well for him fi filling in for Jalen Phillips. But we know what kind of an impact player Phillips is, so we'll continue to monitor that day by day. And he did not practice today being Wednesday. So he might be out another week. Maybe he's trying to get himself in position to be able to play on Sunday, but it is day to day with that oblique injury. So Phillips has just kind of been banged up to begin the 2023 season. Connor Williams, offensive lineman. I know his time with the Dolphins has also kind of been a roller coaster, but he played really well and has played really well all season, minus a couple of botched snaps. But he left Sunday's game against the Broncos with a groin injury, and his status, very similar to Phillips. It's day by day. We're monitoring it from time to time just to determine if he's going to be ready to go on Sunday. But again, just like Van Ginkle played well in Phillips' absence, Liam Eikenberg played really well in the absence of Connor Williams. Joe Shad using a quote on Twitter today from Mike McDaniel that said, Liam Eikenberg rose to the challenge at center, according to Mike McDaniel, saying, quote, a lot of appropriately protected run and pass plays. So Eichenberg, also a guy that hasn't been Dolphins fans' favorites, but he filled in pretty admirably on Sunday against the Broncos. So we'll continue to monitor Connor Williams. And if he can't go, got to believe Liam Eichenberg will be his replacement at center, just like we saw on Sunday against the Broncos. So who does that leave? You still got Teron Armstead. Boy, it was great to see him back in the lineup for the Dolphins at left tackle. He played so well. Even on some of those big run plays, he was getting out in front as a lead blocker, doing somersaults into the end zone. You'll love to see that from the all-pro Teron Armstead. Isaiah Wynn has grayed out really well at left guard. Connor Williams, the question mark at center. Liam Eikenberg, his replacement if he can't go. Robert Hunt, also a guy that's been 
instrumental in the Dolphins' offensive line, not allowing a sack on Sunday against the Broncos. They've only allowed two sacks all season long. Austin Jackson, the youngster, also playing pretty well from his right tackle position. Just like Armstead, he was able to get out and lead block in some of those toss plays, some of those screen passes. All in all, you can't ask for a better effort from the Dolphins' offensive line thus far throughout the course of the season. So, I want to remind you to subscribe to Dolphins today. Why? Because we have a ton of fun on our watch parties. If you weren't with us on Sunday, A, you missed out. But B, be there next Sunday when the Dolphins take on the Bills. We'll have another watch party, complete pregame show. We'll have some raffle giveaways. And we got some new things planned for week four as well. So the watch parties are a blast. And then, of course, we bring you daily Dolphins content, daily Dolphins news updates, injury updates, just like we're doing today. So that's why you subscribe. Working our way down that injury report from today, and unfortunately we're saving some of the harder news till the very end with River Craycraft status because he certainly is not going to be ready for Sunday against the Bills, and it may be a longer-term injury. The Dolphins are considering the possibility that Craycraft may, in fact, be placed on IR. Nothing official yet, but one of those situations they're monitoring to determine a timeline, but it's certainly not an immediate return. So he left Sunday's game against the Broncos uh, with the shoulder injury, and it's just a matter of what that timeline will look like for his return, but it won't be an immediate return. Now, Savan Ahmed. Let's not forget about Savan Ahmed. Yes, Devon Achan and Raheem Mostert have been tremendous in the backfield, but Savan Ahmed was a great number two in the first two weeks. He didn't get a ton of opportunities, but we saw what he can do in the preseason. And this is a guy that is just one more weapon to add to the offensive backfield. He played in the first two games. Missed week three against Denver with that groin injury. But Mike McDaniel said he's making progress and is a limited participant in today's practice on Wednesday. So another one that we'll monitor leading up to Sunday. But again, based on what Mostert and Devon Achan did, there's a, that running, running back's room is loaded with talent. Ahmed is another guy that is dangerous with the ball in his hands. So we'll continue to keep you updated and monitor that situation as it progresses. Before we go, this is just kind of wild. And I love Tyreek Hill. You love Tyreek Hill. He's leading the NFL in receiving yards. He is electric. He's the cheetah. Last week, he was jawing with Micah Parsons. That was fun. This week, he was on a video stream. And this one just makes me laugh out loud because when asked what you know, Tyreek Hill wants to do post-playing career. He mentioned an industry, um, I'll just say the adult film industry. He thinks he would be a, uh, a prime candidate to participate into some adult film-making opportunities. But you know what? Let the guy do what he wants to do. Let the guy live his life. Tyreek Hill wants to be a porn star. I'm not here to tell anybody what they can and can't do. But I want to know, what's your one-word reaction if you've seen the video of Tyreek Hill saying he wants to be a porn star? Because I honestly, I was not that surprised. No, I mean, it's Tyreek Hill. We've come to expect the unexpected a little bit. The guy has a blast in everything that he does. His touchdown celebration on Sunday was emblematic of that. He got the crowd going. He was just having a great time. And so let me know in the chat what your reaction, your one-word reaction to Tyreek Hill wanting to be a porn star post-playing career in the National Football League? Because I guess who doesn't, right? I mean, if you got it, flaunt it, let's do it. Tyreek Hill, I think, I think you know, he's got, he's got a bright future in football and in adult filmmaking. But Thanks so much for tuning in to this edition of Dolphins Today. Reminder, to follow me on Twitter. Always tweeting about the Dolphins, at Jake underscore Ritma on Twitter. But appreciate everybody tuning in to Dolphins Today.